solvent traps, FRTs, a new seller, a new visit by the ATF, and also who's running the show. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What is up, Wolverines, and welcome back to the channel. Before I get into anything, let me just thank Paul from Legally Armed America. He is a great friend and a good guy, and he provided some of the information in some of the videos that you're going to see today. So thank you, Paul, so much. Check out his channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Crump. I keep an eye on the 2A space, whether it's the ATF, FBI, or any other organization that wanna violate your rights. If you can do me a big favor, and this really helps out more than you know, like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps out. Today we are brought to you by JSD Supply. JSD Supply is your one-stop shop for everything that you need to complete your build. They have slides, parts, whatever you need, they have and for a limited time you can use my code and that's code crump and you can get ten dollars off your order plus free shipping on all purchases above a hundred dollars okay let's go ahead and get into today's story if you haven't been following along the atf has been visiting multiple people to recover solvent traps and frt triggers as you can see in the video that's playing right now this is a situation that happened in south carolina where two agents went to a man's house that man was not there and he does not plan on turning over any of his stuff to the atf and that is probably the smart move. If you do anything, you should do it through an attorney because you never know what the ATF is going to do. When police come to your house or any type of law enforcement and they question you, they're not questioning you to be friendly. They are questioning you to try to build a case against you. So therefore, it is smart to exercise your right to remain silent and talk through an attorney. Okay, so... We all know about Rifle Remedy 2000, who is one guy that a lot of people have purchased stuff through, and I would venture to say is the biggest guy. But there's other people, and this one seems to be from a guy who goes by the seller name One Bor B O R One Q U A One. And he is no longer active on Gunbroker. I've been trying to track down this guy, but he has not returned my calls, emails, or anything else. One of the things that threw me off is the email was registered to another owner. The guy that is in charge of everything is named Michael Tun, and he owns AIM Enterprises LLC. So I don't know if he has an employee or why it was coming back to a different guy, but the owner is Michael Tun, and I'm 100% sure of that. And since I haven't had any contact with Mr. Tun, I have not been able to determine how the ATF got his information or if the ATF went to him, executed a search warrant, just like they did to Rifle Remedy 2000. I wish I could tell you more, but I really can't because that's all the information I have. All I know is people that bought from him have been visited. And this looks like this is over the force reset triggers on this guy. There is a third person, but I am still working out the information on him. One of the interesting things is that all of the people, all those sellers are out of Texas. And this makes sense because I was able to determine that the operation is ran out of the Austin field office. And I actually have the name of the AIC agent in charge, but I'm not going to release that right now until I talk to him. I sent him several emails and also left voicemails for him and all the other agents actually, but I have not heard back. So it's run out of the Austin office. It looks like all the sellers, the three that I have so far, are all out of Texas, and it is a nationwide thing. People have been visited in Texas, Kansas, South Carolina, Florida, and a bunch of other states, California, to name just a few. 
And it's probably more than what I know about, but that is what I have. So it's ran out of Texas. All three sellers so far have been Texas residents. And the ATF is actively visiting people that bought forced reset triggers and solvent traps. Right now, every visit that has to do with solvent traps seems to be centered around Rifle Remedy 2000. The forced reset triggers seems to be centered around three different people. Two of them are now public. The third one I'm going to start working on tomorrow and hopefully i'll have something for you later on in the week with that guy and then i can wash my hands and move on to something totally different it never ends the battle between us and an overbearing government always continues we just have to fight for our rights and they want to violate your right to bear arms because that's what tyrants do all right that's it for today i love you very much stay ever vigilant stay ever free keeping the fight I am out of here, Wolverine's motherfucker.